For so long, Eastville was home. Bobby Gould, Terry Cooper and Gary Mabbott were among those players to grace Rovers' spiritual birthplace. Attendance was at its highest in the 50s with regular crowds of 30,000, presumably undeterred by the persistent smell from the gasworks next door which became a characteristic of the ground. It's like a landmark and it always will be a landmark for loads and loads of people. Rovers are going to Bath and opening a new chapter in their history. But the ground sharing deal, the first ever in league football, will get both clubs out of debt. But the Bristol Pirates will need some loyal support from their fans if the clubs to survive and one day return again to Bristol. This historical move to Bath gives this club a marvellous springboard to reawaken interest in the footballing public in two major cities. This part of Bristol is our heartland, and uh, that's where our main support is on the pitch and commercially, both Bristol Rugby Club and Bristol Rovers can enhance their positions. Lockwood's cross, Hales is there, 2-1! Oh, Great play, what a goal this would be! Oh, it's stunning! Billy Bowden! Wide and goes again. Oh, it's off the post! Surely it is! Lee Brown! side forwards here, it's Greg Colwood, brilliant strike by Aaron Collins, and they're level. Can they complete the comeback? The cross comes in, difficult one for the keeper, and Spence is there, and he's won it! Comeback complete! absolutely vital and important uh, for this club to have a, a new modern stadium. It's a big project and um, we are moving in the right direction. 